nearly every component of tax law has a racial equity impact, but it's not just about what tax laws are on the books. It's also about how they're enforced. So last week, the IRS commissioner told this committee that the tax gap, the amount of taxes owed but not paid, could exceed a trillion dollars every year. The top 1% of Americans account for more than a third and potentially as much as 70% of the taxes owed but not paid. But the IRS's efforts to enforce our tax laws, including the audits conducted to check whether or not a taxpayer is following the law, don't focus on these wealthy taxpayers. In 2019, low-income families claiming the earned income tax credit made up nearly 40% of all IRS audits. So, Ms. Brown, we audit a lot of lower income taxpayers rather than focusing on the wealthiest people. What does that mean for the racial impact of our tax enforcement strategy? It means that it's being born on the blacks of uh, on the backs of black Americans and not uh, where the true gap is with higher income white Americans who have access to tax attorneys who I, apparently the IRS would prefer not to push back against. So they go after low income EITC claimants who don't have access to uh, tax attorneys to push back. It's very unfair. That's right. And That's Professor right. Brown, am I right that you have looked at what the most audited counties in America are? Well, ProPublica did research on that. And of course, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Yes, and they are in rural Black communities in the South. And in the South is disproportionately amount of the number of Black Americans living in the South. So they have been Black Americans in the South who filed the EITC have been targeted when research shows over 50% of EITC claimants are white. Thank you. I appreciate it, Professor Brown. You know, as your research shows, one reason why is implicit bias. Uh, politicians and bureaucrats embracing harmful stereotypes about Black Americans that can lead them to single out EITC recipients. But there's another piece here, too. After years of Republican budget cuts, the IRS targets the people who are the cheapest to audit, and that's low-income taxpayers, many of them people of color. It is cheap and easy for the IRS to blast out letters to intimidate EITC recipients, but rich people use complicated tricks to evade taxes, so those investigations require time and money and expertise, things that the IRS is short on. In fact, a recent report from the Treasury Inspector General found that the IRS is not even working on the cases of the highest income taxpayers who don't file taxes at all, but who collectively owe more than $45 billion. So, Professor Brown, if we gave the IRS a big pot of money and mandated that the IRS spend it on auditing the wealthiest taxpayers and the biggest corporations, targets where we know there's a huge amount of money going uncollected. Could that help reduce the racial disparities in the tax system? Absolutely, absolutely. It would make who pays taxes a lot fairer. Good, so thank you. Uh, you know, there's a lot we need to do to make our tax system less racist. And one easy place to start is by making sure that the IRS has the resources and clear direction to go after the biggest tax cheats. I'm really glad that Commissioner Reddick supports the bill that I'm working on to provide a new targeted mandatory funding stream for the IRS so that the agency has a predictable, sustained, and protected pot of funds dedicated to ensuring that the wealthy and that big corporations are paying their fair share. It would give us a better, stronger, and more equitable tax system for all Americans.